guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to do a world gravity vfx design here in blender so guys for this tutorial we are not doing anything directly but instead of we are doing all our work will be based on compositing so the first thing we want to do now is to load in our footage and to do this click on this add go to vfx then choose motion tracking okay now we are loading our footage by dragging it into the workspace and press A to select all, then press open clip. Alright, so this is a movie clip. It's not a movie clip but image sequence. So click on set scene frame to set the frame rate and also click on prefetch to cache it into memory. Okay, now in this clip, we are adding an art design to this wall. Let me play this for you to leave. So we are putting an art design on the wall and we need to track the wall but instead of doing camera tracking object tracking we are doing four pin track which is a plain deform track okay so the first thing to do is now to track here yeah, i put some tape here so we need to track here and also here and the other side here and here Okay, let me just track it then I will get back to you. Okay, now I have dragged this four side and as you can see. Okay, so the next thing to do now is to do a planar tracker. So just come to solve here, then click on plane track, then create a plane track. So as you can see, we have a plane track here. So the art I want to add to this wall, I want to make it bigger than this. So let me just expand this track. Press A to select all the points of the track and first of all to go to tracking press a to deselect all the tracker then select the plane track instead now press s to scale up like so so when you come to the beginning of the frame you can see how this is going to work so press g to grab it put it down a little so we need to adjust the plane track to be more precise drag this down and drag this up so we kind of get the way i want this to deform as you can see that this is really working nice right now okay and the next thing to do now is to come to compositing then do the compositing go to compositing click on use notes okay let me just set up my compositing the way i want it to look okay now we don't need render layer so we delete that because we are not doing any 3d rendering all right so what we need now is a our movie clip just press shift a go to input then select a movie clip so put this here into the composite like so so we need to connect this with reroute node just press ctrl then drag ctrl then shift then drag like so to add the root node so to do to see our movie clip we need a viewer node instead of adding shift a go to output then select a viewer node you can do it this way and you can also press hold shift and click on this to add the viewer so that is very simple and it's a shortcut for that so click here to add our movie clip then we are seeing our movie clip here all right now let me just arrange this the way i want it to be okay now let's begin to add our art so before we add any art we have to bring our deform plane tracker we did here in composition so press shift a go to distort here then you see plane track deform just click on that this is our plane track deform and when you click on here you can add our movie clip click here to add our camera and click here to add the plane track okay to mix this together just use a mix node press shift a Go to color, then select a mix node, plug that here, then add the image to the down plane track here. 
so when you add that you see something like this so let's change it to add right here okay guys so the reason why we are not seeing anything now is because this ad is hiding this effect but let us raise this a little bit we see we are getting something okay now you can see that we are getting something but we have to add our image to this so press shift key, go to input select image now drop this connect it with the the form now click on open then drag your image to this then open clip now the image i'm using here as an alpha all right so this is too light because i drag this so let me drop it back then add it okay so we are using add and this is not really working nice so let's use something like mix so you see that mix clip all the image all the detail in the image so let's use but the one we are using is overlay okay as you can see that the overlay shows some details of the wall here if you can't see it on the screen but it shows some details of the wall okay so to get rid of this particles which is the black part so when you click on the alpha of this image you see that this image has an alpha okay and to use that alpha then i will show you how to use the alpha now so to use the alpha we need to shuffle this so let's use separate node press shift a go to go to converter select separate rgb put that here now when you put this image to the image of this separate rgb and check this is the red channel this is the green blue and this is the alpha and what you are interested in is the alpha all right so what you can do now is to plug this alpha direct to the factors of this overlay so when you do that we have something like this and you see that the effect is really working nice okay so we can also do some refining to this so press shift a go to converter again select color ramp put that here then click on this linear change it to base blind all right so when you drag this close to the clip you can see that we are clipping some edges of this of this paint so it looks like it's more fading than year to year if you really let me drag it over to see that this as you can see that this effect makes all the sides fade than the other okay what we do now is to drag this white part closer to it so we can see all the details in the middle like this okay then drag this a little bit closer okay, to free the edges all right so this is really working nice okay so the next thing to do is to mask out the person at the front of this effect so it will be more precise so let's mask him out okay guys now we are doing the masking so the first thing i do now is to go back to press tab then we are in the mask workspace right now so drag this up so that we can have a better view okay so the first thing i do now is to press click on new to add a new mask first of all let's hide this lane track press h to hide that and all the tracks press h to hide them okay now we are in mask so let's mask let's first also do the head okay let me just go to the let me come here for a better view okay let's mark let's start from here just press ctrl then click 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 so you just have to click like so then to close the mask press alt and c okay press a to select all the mask press v and choose a single angular aligned so go to mask here select switch direction now you can refine your mask probably all right masking is a time consuming stuff so you have to be very patient when doing this
but this is the head and add the new click here to add a new mask so let's do the full body this time oh yeah control click then press OC to close them press A and press V then click on then switch direction now you can also refine this properly so at the point press control then click and drag that's how you add a new mask point all right let me just quickly do this and i will get back to you okay guys and that is done so we need to mask here also press new let's name this and add a new mask mask here control then click click see to close a v then switch direction so align that like so okay let's add another mask control click put c to you press A, V, then switch direction, then align it properly. Okay, so you have to animate all these masks we did right here. You have to animate them. So and to ease to do the easy animation, so just click on this record, then whatever you adjust the mask in exactly frame it will add a keyframe to this to that if you just go to the next frame like this press a to select or g to grab then drag it back to position like so then it add a keyframe to this so when you toggle through frame one frame two you see that the mask follow so that is how to animate mask in blender all right so i'm not going to show you how to animate all this map because it's going to take a lot of time so let's go to composite and let me show you how to how to arrange all this mask and how to comp composite the mask into the vfs all right now we are in the compositing okay the first thing now is to join our mask together so to join mask together we need a node which is mix node now press shift a go to color then select a mix node now change this mix to add then duplicate this shift D to duplicate and put it here now we need our mask node press shift A go to input then select mask also duplicate this to 2 and put it here so just click here to select our head then the second mask our body now when you check this you see our head and you see the, you see the body so we need to join this together to mix this together just put this here and put the other here so when you look at this you have the full mask and this second node put it here now we need to duplicate this two instead of adding a new one just control shift and click then press shift D to duplicate them now let's change this to our ordinary mask we did to separate that ambit okay so to do that just put this here and the other here all right so when you check this one also we see the two ambits okay what we need to do now is to subtract this mask from this okay and to do that we need a add no just let's duplicate this one shift d drop that here now change this 
to subtract like so then drop this to the down key like this now you can see that we subtract that place out of here all right so now we need a node which is blur to blur the edges a little bit shift a come to filter then select blur put that there and put this to something like two so it's fine just drag this up like so now this is our mask for this okay now let's and to mix this to add them to the effect we did we need to create another node which is the alpha over node press shift a go to color and select alpha over drop that here all right so we need to bring the input from this movie clip just drag the input to the down here like so now we need to bring the output of the mask put it to the factor of the alpha over like so okay now you can see that it separates the mask we did which is the alpha over we separate it from the effect this is the paint yes you can see let me, let me zoom in you can see that we separate the body from the wall okay so the next thing to do now when you look at this effect look at the neck here you see that we are having some clipping edges here which is not really looking nice as you can see let's look at the image you see that no clipping and the effect we are seeing some clipping and to fix that we need to click on this clamp just enable it in all effect enable the clamp now you can see that you don't see that clipping anymore okay as you can let's remove it and you just see again now you are having the clipping just click on it again and no clipping okay that's how to fix that all right so, okay, so when you look at this art it's not blending with the footage so let's make this blend more okay press shift a go to color then select a color balance node drop that here in between of the plane tracker and this overlay so drop that here. now go to the lift which is the shadow then increase the lift a little bit okay now you can see that this blends a little bit more when you mute this you can see and after you can see that this blend a little bit and you can still drop that up a little bit again to be more precise okay now let's do overall color this is the color grading okay so the first node we need here let's first add the color balance shift a color balance node drop that here okay this color balance node and let's also drop a diffuser just go to brightness and contrast node drop that here so let's increase the constant to more like this let's leave that for now and drop down the lift all right so let's just drag the color to something like blue okay then the gain which is the brightest part let's drop down to something yellow or orange like so okay so we give this a nice color let's check before then after so i can see that this is really nice and this is how to do the effect the graffiti design effect so now you can just save your footage then render your footage and this will be so quick to render because we are not doing any 3d and this is a composite vfx so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video